This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate flight sim hardware solution. Featuring the Orion hull test, current and future configurations. Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. A few days ago we made this video here, which jets have the best ground mapping radar, F-16, F-18, Jeff or Vegan. And it was what I thought was a cool video, but in the comments you guys tore me apart. And rightly so, because I did it wrong. In fact, let me just put my excuses out there first. Now, I spend a lot of time with under fives at church. I get sick a lot, as you probably noticed, and I've got the worst swollen tonsils. So I'm going to struggle to get through this video, but I'm going to do my absolute best. And if I fail and fall asleep, RC is going to take over. Hello, RC. Hello. So what I did, guys, we've got the four aircraft here. I gave them an angular offset of 15 degrees from where they were pointing to where the thing is that they were looking at. What I didn't realise was that you can alter the quality of image by the amount of angular offset that your aircraft has to the thing you're looking at. So for instance, these aircraft here with a 15 degree offset there to there produces a pretty shoddy image, if you remember. If you move them to 55 degrees offset, most of these can go up to about 60 degrees offset, produces a beautiful clear image. We're going to redo the video to find out which aircraft in DCS has the best air-to-ground radar with a proper offset used of around 55 degrees or the most that we can do. First thing for me to do is prove that changing the offset angle improves the image. We're going to jump in the Hornet 15 degrees first. Active pause on. We'll talk about active pause in a minute, by the way. There's the target there. Soy. Expand to. Go. You'll agree that's a terrible image and we can't work with it. I'm sure we'll all agree with that. Okay. Next, let's do 55 degrees. XP2. And voila! It's absolutely perfect. I can see the runway. It's just 10 million times better, okay? So yes, you guys are absolutely right. Myself and RC were wrong and thank you for educating us. One more thing to prove. You guys were complaining that active pause was on. Don't worry. Active pause does mean the plane is theoretically still moving. But in reality, it's not moving. Let me prove it to you. Active pause is currently on. Look at the image. I'm going to turn active pause off now. Let the image refresh. You'll find it's exactly the same. You see? It's exactly the same when it refreshes. So active pause will work. Full pause won't work. This is our sheet. This is the one we've already filled out from the previous video. 15 degrees. Offset. Cap. RC. Because we're going to have subjective judging methods. We fill out all these different aircraft, then we do the totals at the end, and then we decide which aircraft has the better air-to-ground mapping radar. Right, we're going to go into 55 degrees now, guys. We're going to start with the F-16. So, master arm on, air-to-ground. So, I'm going to move the cursor down here, do an expansion, and again. So, parameters are, we're 20 miles away. Uh, we're at 6,000 feet, and all of the aircraft are in the same position. We're going to zoom in can take a while to okay wow the detail compared to last time rc is amazing not only can i hang on one two three four five oh i can only see five ships with the f-16 do you agree yeah now, here's the thing look at the detail i can only see five ships but look at the detail i can see the ships i can see the airplanes on the carrier how amazing is that so remember carrier cruiser destroyer frigate which for some reason is smaller than the corvette and the speedboat's not there. So I'm going to go fill out my first bit of information for the F-16. Next, we need to go and look for the tankers. If you remember, again, I'm assuming that you've all seen the first video. Otherwise, none of this is going to make any sense. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so lush. It's so much detail. Can I distinguish between the three different types of tankers? Three tankers, two tankers, one tanker. Easy. Done. Lovely. Next, factory. Wow, the detail in the factories, RC, is beautiful. I can see the shapes of the buildings. It's almost too detailed. Amazing. Except one of them doesn't appear to be there. Oh no, there it is. Not only can I see the factories, I can see the shapes of the buildings, which to be honest is amazing that they managed to do that. I must yeah. admit, when we were looking before, I thought the air-to-ground radars were pretty crap. I thought, oh, Wagner's actually done a pretty bad job at this. And now I'm looking at them offset like this, and they're, to be honest, pretty top-notch. I can see the shapes of the buildings. It's a fair play, big W. So, three factories, two factories, one factory. It looks pretty awesome, to be honest. Bear in mind, we're 20 nautical miles out. So, next, bridge. Wow, the detail in the bridge I see is amazing. I can see it spanning perfectly. Bridge is there. Runway's easy, it's there. And I've not even messed about with the gains, valued viewers. The gain will make it even easier. I just haven't had to bother. It's so, it's so good without it. This air to ground radar on F-16 is mint, as we like to say in Britain. Next, tanks. Well, there they are. They're harder to see, but they're clearly there. 
Let's see if we can get any uh, any clear up. Remember to clear up, you use your brightness, you use your gain, you use your contrast, and it's going to differ with different things that you're doing. One way or another, I can see those tanks. I mean, I can't tell the tanks. You have to know that there's a group of tanks roughly in that position, but I could put a spee on that and I can go bomb them relatively happily. Sam! No, cows. And even the cows are there. Cows are there. Yeah. I've actually made the image a lot worse by messing about with it, so that was my fault, I must admit. But I'm happy the cows are there. Cows check. Sam is the last one, guys. I have six. I see six ships, Look actually. at that. On the F-16? Yeah. Are you on C-mode or ground mapping? No, I'm on ground mapping, and I have uh, my... I can see each Sam unit this time. I couldn't even see the Sams before. I can see each Sam unit. Yeah, I can see them. That's pretty good. I'm just going to go double check the ships valued humans and then we're done. For some reason I'll see you can see six and... I went with DBS2 and I'm 40 on my range. About the bridge centered on my map and I can see one, two, three, four, five, six ships. I am I can 100% definitely only see five, so... Huh. Okay. Whatever. You're on F-16? Yeah. 55 degrees? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, value viewers, that is that plane done, and I'm <clears throat> feeling really sick, so we're going to speed up. I'm next going to the F-18, 55 degrees, go. So you know what, Cap, it's yes. the ranging. When I zoom in to 10 on the ranging, mm -hmm. I only see five ships, but if I go to 40 and it rescans it, I can then see all six ships. Well, you've got to decide whether you count that ship or not then, because it shouldn't disappear. A ship shouldn't disappear when you zoom in, so... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the logic is behind it so it's all hard right. to know all right well it is what it is let's let's not dwell too much on it but air to ground <clears throat> 55 degrees offset i'd dwell more on it if you weren't so damn sick i can't i can't argue with that can i valued viewers oh you know what i forgot to choose try c mode can you quit are you in the f-16 can you quickly try c mode to make sure the extra ship doesn't appear because i completely forgot to check okay f-18 there are six ships clearly visible one of them looks like two because of the aircraft carrier but Again, the, the Corvette is bigger than the frigate. Okay, next. Bridge. Done. Easy. I can go and bomb it. With C mode, I lost the... Uh, oh, wait. There it is. It's right I find C mode worse. Wow. Horn it. Horn it. Horn it. Radar in EXP3 with 55 degree offset is like... It's like a photograph. Mr. Wagner. I'm going to have to send him a nicely worded letter about this, and I rarely send nice things. Okay. Planes done. All right, I don't. I can the see ships the, are the same. I can see the serial. The I can see the serial numbers on them. I'll see. <laughs> Check. Can I see the runway? Yes. Obviously, I can see every cubic uh, bit of asphalt. Can I see the factories? I'm gonna have to zoom out. I can see the factories in too much friggin' detail. It's radar. Yeah. Oh yeah, it does look good, doesn't it? Yeah, I got wow. my factories there. It is good. Look at us. Like I see why the internet was so angry at us now. <laughs> look at us getting it wrong. Can you believe that? But you know what we do? We listen to the that value viewers. Happened. I know. We listen to the. No, we, do, we, we learn from our value viewers. I'm not going to pretend one second to be particularly knowledgeable aviation. I never, I never said I was. I never claimed to be in any way. And I've learned most of the stuff I've learned from listening to the value viewers. Wait a minute. Yes, I see. Can I help you at all? You said you were a F-16 pilot. Oh, with sugar. Hours. I forgot. I forgot I was an F-16 pilot with 18,000 hours. I used to teach Lemoyne. And. Um, I don't do that anymore, though. Yeah. Anyway. Right, and I just concentrate. It got tiresome. It did get tiresome, didn't it? You're not letting me uh, think. And I'm ill. If I haven't said that ten times already. How do I change the friggin' contrast and all that? Ah, I found a knob. You may, you know me, I love pulling a good knob. Oh, boy. Yes, I'm allowed to say that. You can't stop me saying that. We'll not get demonetized. Yeah, the tanks are there, and the sheep are there. The sheep look terrible. Well, not terrible. They're there. You know what? They're there, and I could bomb them. What, what more do you want me to say? Finally, we're going to go and look at the Sam. And I can already see it in XP2. One, two, three, four units done. Easy. Bog and F-16 done. Next, Jeff. Right, do you remember how, RC? Yes, I've remembered how. It doesn't matter. Look at me remembering a thing. Watch this, valued humans. Yep, literally can't remember. There it is. da 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 da, -da. I am about to show you La Magique's. See? Did you see? Did you see? Wow, this thing's detailed. Too much detail. Okay, ships. 
in all their glorious colours. Beautiful. Six ships. Now here's the interesting thing. You can't zoom in and... Oh, hang on. No, you can't zoom in and out with the Jeff. That's an interesting thing. So it works differently to the uh, F-16. You can do... Oh, you're talking about... You're yeah, not talking about EPS. Yeah, you'll see what I mean. You'll see what I mean as soon as you start to use it. Gain. Got to change the gain. Wow, the gain is way too high on the Jeff. You'll see, you'll, when you catch up with me, I'll see. I know you're a little slow. When you catch up with me, the gain is way too high. And the thing is, you can't turn it down. U-boats! U-boats! Sounds like a strongly worded letter about to go to U-boats' email. Which I have. Unfortunate for him. Contrast doesn't work. That's another complaint that will be included in the letter. So, that doesn't work. The brightness is crap. Uh, the gain is just way too much. That needs sorting out. Can I, with my eyes, see those factories to bomb them? Ugh, just. I can just see three, two, and one. So, yes, I guess I can. Can I see the bridge? Yes, I can in immaculate detail. Yeah, Runway? Right. Yes. Yeah. Factories? Just. Tankers? Tankers. <clears throat> can I see the tankers? I, I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. I can just see the sand, but yeah, it's hard work, I'll see. Yeah, no, it's it's I almost want to I wanna give it less points. Okay. Can I see the tanks? Well, but just the problem is like you said, the gain it's is the gain. The gain's wrong. Screwy. Yeah. Turn the gain down and I will be fine. Can I see the tanks? Yeah, just. Can I see the sh uh, cows? Just. I'm gonna score it less for the tanks and the cows. I'm gonna score it a half point. Because I'm, it's just not as good as the other two. And I've tried the options that I've got. Control. There's nothing there. Sorry, U-boats. Sam. I'm going to go half a point again. It's there, but I can't clear it up. What if you go high on the gain? Alright. It yeah, that, gives it that, a little bit of... I don't think it does. There's not enough difference there. You need. Yeah. You know what you need to do? Really... The gain needs to go negative. You go, go negative, the background's yeah, too okay. high. My eye, my eye. Remember, this is all about what the human sees here. My right. eyes are struggling to pick that out. RC might have great eyes. He doesn't, by the way. I can tell you that for sure. Whatever. It's probably a really good radar, but the game's not set up right. It's as simple as that. Yeah. I'm going half on the Sam. You put I mean, I you can want. see stuff, but... Again, bear in mind, you'll be normally be moving at 400, 500 knots. Right. Um, you've got to get, you know, bam, that's the Sam. Put your speed on it, fire, before you get shot down. This is going swimmingly. I've done the Jeff. Uh, I'm going to Wigan. Which is clearly not going to work because Wigan. Don't get me wrong, valued viewers, we all love Wigan. But Wigan, not built for this. Jesus in the stream says RC has beautiful eyes. That's a you problem. You're going to have to deal with that one. How many stems are there in there? There's three one. units. Valued viewers, if you hadn't. No, no I've, sh I've completely messed my DCS up and I've had to reinstall every single. All 330 gigabytes again from scratch. That's what happens when you do mods, I'm afraid. Kids, don't do mods and don't do drugs. The Vigan's uh, needs uh, turning a bit. It doesn't have quite up the range. Je ne parle de mods, je ne parle de drugs. Uh, the Vigan. Oh, no. Why? Why don't you like it? It's cool. It's good It's just fun. not designed for... I know. It's not the same... It's not in the same class as... No, no I like no. the Vigan. I'm talking about the uh, radar. It's yes. not the same class. No, it's, it's designed for... It's it really is designed for ships. Um, and that's, that's that's about all I've got to say. It can see some ships. Uh, you, it, it is better. I can sort of see a runway, but it's, you couldn't tell it was a runway, if you know what I mean. You right. can see the river easier. There, you can just sort of see a runway, but I don't think we can put that down. And we're going to see the ships. That's done, valued viewers. Right, I'm going to wait for RC to catch up, and we're going to look at the final scores. Bye-bye. So on the left is 15 degrees, on the right is 55 degrees. F-16 won by miles. It's miles better at 15 degrees. Then the Jeff, then the F-18, and then the Vigan. 55 degrees. The best was... Oh, look at this. The F-18 won by one point. And it was a good radar. It's a really top radar. 34 points just behind the F-16, which is, again, it's a really good air-to-ground radar. 33. Jeffrey... It's a really good ground radar. It picks it up beautifully, but the display is just not there. As you could see, because you could see what I could see, the display just wasn't good enough. They need to mess around with the gain to get that right. And you've got the Vigan, obviously, just, you know, token score, really, because it could see some ships. So, what have we learned? 55 degree offset absolutely works perfectly. It clears the image up massively, and bearing in mind that you can freeze the screen at that point, it's just an excellent tool. And it makes the Hornet better than the F-16. 
Simple as that. I would say thank you very much for you guys for correcting us. RC, anything to add? No, nope. much better results. I'm happy to be have retested it. I hope you enjoyed that and see you later.